There's certainly some truth to this considering that Diddy's name has previously come up in numerous instances of industry veterans switching sides, but don't take it from me. Listen to Ja Rule's wife as she says that. Don't let anyone enter the room, the particular artist and Puff warned me as we were standing in the hotel's presidential suite. When people say that the entertainment industry is the home of the good, the terrible, and the ugly, you know what they mean. Well, it would appear that Aisha Atkins' reality right now is the ugly part as her marriage is said to have reached a snag after her husband became connected with rap legend Diddy. Now Diddy is widely regarded in the industry as an infamous man not just because he's allegedly engaged in some questionably legal dealings, but also because rumors about his sexual preferences have been circulating for years. While it appears that Aisha has just handed us the solution with what she has disclosed him, you ain't want to come up in there, the artist stated as Puff simply stared at him. There was a ton of bizarre activity going on. You see rumors of Je Rule's marital issues circulated for a long time. And while everyone would agree that marital issues are common what Aisha claimed to be going through was very much out of the ordinary. She claimed that the mesmerized rapper made the decision to leave her for someone else. Not the side piece he was with or the club girl, but a man he met in jail. He penned all those love songs, but he still has no idea how to handle a sizable asterisk. Tish answered, Ja Rule's wife, Aisha Atkins, spoke at the beginning of her MTV exclusive married life after prison. It only took him two years to decide he'd rather suck a D asterisk than stay with his wife, despite the fact that we spent more than 10 years constructing our marriage. Ja Rule was given a two-year prison term on a firearms charge before being freed earlier in 2013 when he likely went back to his family's home. Aisha, however, asserts that this is simply untrue. He arrived home without incident, got his crap together, and left. She asserts that Ja Rule, whose actual name is Jeffrey Atkins, only told her that he was having an affair with his personal trainer. It wasn't until much later that she learned that the other person was not only a man, but also Ja Rule's cellmate. However, there is more to this tale. Roughly 10 years ago, Ja Rule received a jail term. The star of Always on Time spent 24 months in prison for failing to file taxes and attempting to possess a weapon in an unlawful manner. Charges. And his wife was always there on Sundays to promote their reality TV show. Respect the Access Hollywood Live rules. Aisha acknowledged that initially it was difficult to be without her husband, but the weekly visits to the prison quickly became routine. She claimed, I drove there and back for a total of 4.5 hours on Sunday holidays in order to see him almost every weekend. On Saturday, there were football games, and on Sunday, we went to see Dad. We carried that out for two years. In the words of Jeffrey Atkins, who goes by J. Rule, his wife, held it down. I only stated, listen, I'm good, when I entered the federal prison run by the feds. You don't have to travel all the way out here for me. Canada is next to me. There is no me for you to come up here. She mistakenly believed that her husband was just being considerate because she would have had to go every other week, but it turns out that his discomfort may have been caused by her presence. Aisha ultimately decided to abstain allowing her boyfriend to complete his term away from her and his family. I didn't see my wife or my family at all during those four months. However, it appears that the rapper was already raising the person he intended to use to take the place of his family at the time. It might be difficult to believe, but Jia Rule didn't always lean the other way. In reality, according to information from a trustworthy source, the rapper was certainly influenced by Diddy. It appears that Diddy may have once brought a large suitcase of sex toys to Ja Rule's home, according to Diddy's former security guard, Jan Deal, and that wasn't even the most interesting part of the tale. And the beginning of this story takes place while I'm with Puff, and he is browsing in an exotic bookstore. In an interview, Gene said that he went to a store with Diddy and witnessed the rapper purchasing butt plugs for himself and paying cash at the register, not to have his belongings searched. After that, he claimed to be Diddy. A private jet carried another group to North Carolina where they lodged at a luxurious hotel. Following that, Diddy and the other man walked to the presidential suite. So later that day, this rapper Diddy and them were all in the same room according to Gene Deal. When you least expected it, the doorbell rang. I opened the door when we were in the presidential suite and the man said, Hey, I'm here for my cousin. The intruder attempted to enter the presidential suite while claiming to be Jorrell's cousin. Gene informed Jorrell's cousin that he couldn't enter the room despite being warned because he had been given clear instructions not to. 
Even after Jean told the man outside the door that Jerule and Puffy needed solitude because they were busy at the time the man allegedly tried to force his way inside the hotel suite. He was being so cocky that Jean grabbed him and slammed him onto the piano. Puff and Jerule fled the room after I slammed him against the piano. Puff grabbed his towel and Jerule grabbed his towel, but nonetheless the few asterisk wear asterisk. The two men were forced to leave their suite by the hubbub hanging onto their towels while they were naked as their cousin looked on in confusion. Jean Deal went on opening a can of worms and Jerul then exclaimed yo what's going on? That's my cousin Jean. When Puffy inquired as to what had transpired Jean replied that the bodyguard had attempted to enter the room despite Jean's warnings not to. He claimed he attempted to enter the space. When I told him he couldn't enter the room Puff glanced at Ja and said, you ain't want to go in that room because there was a lot of freaky asterisk going on. Ja then added, yo you don't want to go in that room. When Jean heard the statement about doing crazy things together he laughed out loud because he thought it was hilarious to watch naked men in towels discussing such things. I mean I get how a tale can have developed differently from what a deal may have observed, but the fact remains that he is neither the first nor the only person to have witnessed Diddy in such an odd circumstance indicating that it is a common occurrence for the music tycoon. You were thus a victim before making the decision to victimize others. Jaguar Wright also spilled the beans on the music executive in a recent jaw-dropping video promising to reveal the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. She certainly delivered too. Wright claims that she has retained an entertainment attorney who collaborated with Bad Boy in 2003. And this legal eagle has a really interesting tale to tell. Wright claims that Diddy has been using his influence to compel the staff members to meet his needs. Bad Boy because she served as one of the main advisors for the industry. She saw something happen. She saw something unsettling that disturbed her. Christopher Williams, a gifted singer and actor and Diddy allegedly met to discuss a demo deal. But the lawyer was in for a big surprise when she went to Diddy's office to obtain authorization for some documents. She allegedly entered the room as Williams was having sex with Puff. She didn't hesitate to enter because the door wasn't locked when she did so. She entered and Christopher Williams was greeting Puff when she did. The shocking thing is that the lawyer didn't appear to be bothered by the unexpected sight at the time. However, Diddy allegedly brought it up the following day and questioned whether she intended to tell anyone. The next day he entered her office and said, yeah, so you went in there. Then what? What will you do? Do you wish to comment? She then exclaimed, oh no. As if that weren't awful enough, the rapper allegedly threatened her claiming that if she revealed the truth, he would ruin her life. She confronted you in your offices because she could see you for who you were, and you pushed her out while threatening to ruin her life if she informed anyone. She did, however, tell someone. She informed me. Jaguar is sure that Diddy has been using his influence to coerce men to do humiliating things in order to demonstrate his strength. Let's just say that she doesn't hesitate to express her opinions. It's obvious that the rapper must have had a relationship with Ja Rule if someone who used to work side by side with Diddy is claiming that things like this occurred and the fans appear to be aware of this. And one individual wrote, It's not surprising that Diddy and J Rule were a hot couple back then. However, J. Rule is like darn it. Does this imply that Diddy may have had relationships with other men? I'll let you decide how to respond. This concludes the video. Goodbye.